So this is a full face of my She Glam favourites. Most of these products I've used for such a long time at this point and that's how I've grown to really love them. And then there's a couple of new products in here I haven't tried also. To start off on Prime, this is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It's actually one of the very few primers in my collection that I do gravitate towards on and off camera and filming. And as you can see, I've made a really, really big hole in it. I love this stuff. It is so, so nice. With me having dry skin, I always tend to gravitate towards a primer that is quite hydrating on my skin. And it just feels like a moisturizer and it's just a really nice, good hydrating base prior to like foundation and makeup application that's just going to do everything I want and need in a primer just to like really nicely prep my skin you know and even though it has that cream texture and formula let's just say it does feel really nice and lightweight on the skin I love that it leaves a wee bit of G to the skin as well this is the foundation balm I take the shade golden recently discovered this i've had this for such a long time in my collection but always thought it was actually too dark for me which it kind of is i really need to be quite fake tan for it like a pretty fresh fake tan <laughs> so that's the only time i'm actually able to use it but it's a pretty decent color match for me so i'm going to take this brush from bk beauty this is the 113 and i'm just going to start painting this on now if you've been on tiktok you would have seen this been read about quite a bit and that's why I got sucked into buying it and trying it for myself because it sounded like a bit of me. <laughs> this is full coverage. This is a very, very full coverage foundation. It has obviously got that balmy texture and formula to it, which does for me make it really nice and creamy actually. So with it being such a full coverage, like thick nearly foundation, it is very, very easy to blend, but it does look flawless. I have another shade here. This is Camel, but I bought this for cream bronzer. This foundation does claim to be hydrating while also providing oil control. Full coverage, non-greasy, non cakey non And that's me just overall size like an amazing foundation, doesn't it, right? <laughs> But as you can see, it is blending so, so nicely. And I think the colour is actually like not too bad. It might be a wee bit off by just a wee smidgen. But once we start to apply our concealer, cream bronzer and stuff, it all balances out, you know? The only foundation I can actually compare this to is the Chroma Cover by Big Perfect Cosmetics. The only difference, I feel like, is this seems to be a wee bit lighter in terms of how it feels nearly on the skin but just how it looks on the skin how it feels how it wears coverage everything it's very very similar and like a fraction of the price this is probably highly unnecessary but i'm just putting the rest of the foundation that's on the brush <laughs> on my face there's nothing as worse as having a brush loaded with foundation or especially a cream product and then putting it back around all the other brushes because then this happens and it's so skanky <laughs> Let's give these a zoom in. See how flawless this foundation is. Next to this is a product I haven't used before. This is the She Glam. Hold on. Anti. Cernies? Anti Cernies. I think I'm reading a different language. Complexion Booster Concealer. That's all I can say, but I can't see anti surnames. What? I can also just about say that it's in the shade linen. <laughs> God, the choice of getting old, right? <laughs> it's got to that point where, like, in a particular friend group we have, um, one of us has now got glasses. <laughs> you just s s turn this, <laughs> and then the product comes out the wee foam tip applicator. Not the biggest fan of these products or these app types of applicators, but if the product's good inside, I can kind of look past it. So I don't really know how much to take, so I'm just going to take the tiniest bit to start with. I suppose I don't mind these types of wee foam tip applicators for like the application, like doing it this way, you know? The colour of that is looking really, really nice once it's actually a blend out. That's like the perfect colour. And it's blending out beautifully as well and that coverage definitely seems to be there. I'm of course wearing a full coverage foundation underneath but that's looking good. I have two cream bronzers here. The foundation balm in the shade Camel. The She Glam 
Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in the shade Warm, what is this, Warm, Warm Honey. I don't know what one to use. I think I'm just going to use this one here. Try and get my plaits out of the way. I feel like this is something that I really <laughs> need to mention. I can't believe I'm actually having to say this though. But honestly, like, this is what the internet does to you. Um, or being on the internet does to you. I hope I'm not offending anybody by the plaits that I have on my hair. I want my hair to be curly for the weekend. Like, um, like cramped and kinky. So this is how I do that in my hair. I just leave it in plaits for like two days. <laughs> you see this wee cream bronzer, or just like these wee cream products in general, like the cream bronzer and then the liquid blushes. These products from She Glam are probably one of the best that I've actually tried. If you're going to try anything from She Glam, definitely try their liquid blushes that come in this packaging. And the cream bronzers, cream contours, they're foolproof. They're absolutely foolproof. They're stunning wee products. So I've had to three of these wee blushes. Um, these are like my favourite like go-to shades I have float on. This is Torrid and Dulce, Dulce Vita. So this is probably my most used shade, Dulce Vita. Oh, I just, I just absolutely love the formula of these. It's like a petal rose type of colour. And then Torrid. Oh, Torrid, Jesus. <laughs> so beautiful. Torrid is like a coral peach colour. And then Float On is definitely more of like a, kind of like a sorbet orange. They're both as beautiful as each other, honestly, in terms of the colour. What am I going to use? I might actually use Torrid for a change because I always use this one. The formula is kind of like a serum. So it just means that they're very lightweight. But they're just really easily to build up. They have a really beautiful, like, natural finish, but they're really easily to build up as well. But they just blend out so effortlessly and that's what I mean by they're foolproof like you just do not need to put in any effort with these products at all like these were your blushes I haven't tried the highlighters has anybody tried them I'm not really the biggest fan of liquid highlight especially whenever I'm doing full glam like this but you see how easy that was to blend that out I'm going to apply it a wee bit more to show you how nice and easy it is to build up if you want more of a flushed blush look. There we go. And then I'm just going to grab my concealer sponge because I'm not going to set everything in place. I'm wanting to just get rid of any under eye creasing but also give the under eyes just in this wee triangle area here. Just melt that blush kind of into the concealer so everything's pretty seamless. Now for my favourite part, I'm going to set everything. This is actually the foundation powder, right? Yeah, Skin Focus High Coverage Foundation Powder. Um, I could obviously just use one of these. Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Geos. So you obviously have the loose powder underneath and then a setting powder on top. I'm just going to use this foundation powder because I prefer the colour and the shade of it, which is linen. One thing I like about um, She Glam's complexion products is the fact that they seem to use the same name. Concealer I was using is in the shade linen, so it was like one of the lightest concealer shades, which is usually a go-to for me. So if I'm gonna be picking a powder to set my under eyes or set my face, I'm going to be taking the lightest shade, which is also linen. So it just makes it easier to kind of figure out and choose your shade. With my loose powder, I think I might actually just use bisque. I'm just going to really keg this on. <laughs> I don't have a setting mist from Shea Glam, so I just used dehydrating mist from Super Drunk. I know they do a couple of setting sprays, so I must actually really try and get them for the next time. For highlighter, I'm going to use a highlighter that isn't from She Glam. The only highlighter from She Glam that I had in my collection was in the same type of packaging as the bronzer, but the highlighter itself was shit. <laughs> it was rubbish. It just was not good at all. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm exactly a highlighter connoisseur, but I know a good highlight when I try one. I'm honestly going to be 
clutching my butt cheeks using this because it's just it's kind of painful <laughs> this just is not a blush that I would gravitate towards these days it's as matte as they come. <laughs> it's a beautiful colour. It, it's absolutely stunning. But you see if it had a wee bit of shimmer. <laughs> see if it had a wee bit of shimmer. That'd be beautiful. I have this one on standby. <laughs> the Revolution Pro Luster Blusher. In the shade Peach. I'm probably going to cheat and use a wee bit of a... Look at that goodness. That'll do it, it's fine. I suppose I've got a highlighter on, so don't really, I lied. I'm gonna put a wee bit of this on. The more blush I put on, the less bronzer I feel the need to put on. And I don't really go towards bronzer these days. Which is a good thing for today's video because the bronzer that I have is awful and I'm not going to use it. The colour of it is perfect. It's beautiful actually. It's just, I feel like it's not too warm. It's not too cool tone. It's just really nice like neutral coloured bronzer. Obviously it's leaning more on the warmer side. Definitely my type of bronzer shade and colour. But the formula of it, I just, I don't like it. I've tried this a couple of times now at this point. The first time I had done like the full face of She Glam and I've tried it since then and it's just patchy. So I only have a couple of wee eyeshadow parts here from She Glam. Um, the Chromosome Time Wrap eyeshadow palette, this one here. I might actually take a couple of shimmer shades out of this, I don't know. I have no idea what eye makeup look I'm wanting to do. I do know though that I want to use mainly this palette with what shade is it? This shade, this shade, this shade. So this is the uh, Afterglow palette, by the way. I think I mainly want to take, to start with actually, this shade here. So I'm just gonna put this all over the crease, from outer to inner corner. I've also never had any bother with She Glam eyeshadow palettes either, in terms of like the pigmentation, as you can see. Um, the blendability and just overall the quality for the price point, you know, so so good. And you see, whenever you go on to She Glam and you're actually looking for a palette, you're so spoiled with choice. And their palettes are actually really beautiful. Like the color stories, especially, really draw you to them. They're beautiful. But this one, especially that I'm using, it's still on the website. I did actually just check there because I don't like to want to be using any of these products that you can't get anymore but it is still on the website and it's absolutely stunning and honestly it really is such a jib for the Natasha Denona palette. God it was ages ago I done that tutorial so I basically done like the same makeup look on each eye with one with the She Glam palette and one with the Natasha Denona palette and there was literally little to no difference. <laughs> Only the price point. And then we're just going to give this all a nice wee blend with a clean brush. Uh, I didn't realise I wasn't recording. So I had mentioned that I went in with this shade here from the Chromosome palette. It's like a really like beautiful duochrome multi-shift eyeshadow. Like in one direction, like in some ways it will look pink, blue, green purple it's beautiful so i've just put that like all over the lid like bringing it right up into the crease and everything after that i went into the afterglow palette and taking that shade here so this is also has like a bit of a shift to it as well it's definitely like a gold based eyeshadow but it has shifts like shifts of green which is pretty cool so i'm going to see what these two shadows Shadows. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I was so delayed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see what these two look like. <laughs> just taking a blending brush. I'm gonna do a bit of blending it just right at this crease. Taking more of this shade. I also have this Wishy Glam Glitter Liner. It's in the shade VIP. I'm going to take a bit of a, like a sparse fluffy brush. 
basically a brush that's that old that it's lost half of its bristles. I love applying a glitter with one of these types of brushes because you just get like nice dispersed look of glitter instead of it being bunched up in one area. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't really know what I was aiming for with this makeup look but it definitely wasn't this. I'm not mad though. This is looking really nice. It's looking very mermaid-esque. With all these shimmer combinations. I'm loving it. That is bloody lovely. Liner Lashes. This is the Proflex Angled Eyeliner. I have expressed quite a few feelings about this eyeliner. Love it. For the fact that the tip is really nice and fine, but you see if I put it like this, you can see that it is angled. I can see how this is quite innovative. An innovative? Innovative? Whatever. <laughs> I can see where they were going with the shape of this. Really, really like it. If I'm just doing one line or I'm doing a wee bit of a wing, but you see if you're wanting to do like graphic liner with this type of eyeliner, nightmare. So like even if you're wanting to do like the wee, like a wee wing on the inner corner or just any type of other graphic eyeliner other than a simple wing or a straight line, nightmare. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> and the reason for it is because obviously as you're using it, you're maybe like twisting it and rotating it. So that's moving the angle of the tip. So it's just nightmare. <laughs> like I have used it quite a few times to do like inner corner liner nightmare but for everything else it's fine and then as much as I love Shea Glam they do probably the worst mascaras I've ever tried <laughs> yeah so I won't be actually using it and now lashes hear me out their lashes can't beat their lashes they are so so good especially if you're a makeup artist or if you're starting up becoming a makeup artist false lashes can be very expensive and especially if you're giving them out to clients or if you're somebody that just wears false lashes for one, like one wear and then bends them or something try them out check them out they have so many different styles as well i think i might actually use these ones so when those lashes are going up i'm gonna do my lips um i have these like double-ended lip liner and lipstick things they don't have any name on them apart from glam 101 that's really cheesy <laughs> glam 101 <laughs> wonder Oh, the colour I don't want. Oh, these lashes are actually really nice. Look how wick that lip liner looks. My goodness. It's so typical that the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> that is so rude of me. It's so typical of the, the one lip liner that was easily applied was the one I didn't really want to use. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because my mum and sister are talking to me through our group chat and my sister has a pet snake and he was at the vets today <laughs> and it's the cutest thing. It's the cutest thing ever, we pet. <laughs> we darling. Right, what is this? Ew, no I don't like that. Way bit of mascara, just mainly on the outer corner of the lower lashes and just a wee bit in the middle, but more so on the outer corner. And that's it. Wow, I actually, really like my makeup today this is looking so good eyes base 
on the fence about the lips. I'm gonna give you another wee zoom in of the makeup since it's all complete. Love the eyes. I love how multi-dimensional they look. And that's what I love about mixing and playing with different shimmers. In different palettes or in the one palette, you end up with this multi-dimensional eye makeup look. Stunning. I do apologize that it was really quick and easy and it wasn't really that spectacular, but Honestly, like I sometimes like to really prove to you in my makeup tutorials that sometimes you don't need to cut the crease and go crazy with eyeliner and glitters and lotions and potions. <laughs> um, easiness and simplicity for me, but also something that really does make a really beautiful effect and I just, I love, I love, love, love everything with this eye makeup look. And of course the base, the base is definitely looking stunning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.